Welcome to your Sunday One Video Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. In this shave, I am using my Wade and Butcher Sheffield. This has got a barber's notch. It is a wedge or a near wedge at least. This is horn scales and it is quite nice. Now, this is the shave test for this straight razor. We honed it up on the last straight razor edge Friday special. So I'm looking forward to this. Now for our soap tonight, I am using Kira. And this is just a fantastic, marvelous scent that is very complex by Stash Soap Works. It is one of my favorites from her. Now, we have had that blooming, so we're going to pour that off and put on the bloom water as a pre-shave. Yep. Always good. Mmm. Oh, and a fantastic scent. Now, that is so good. For my brush tonight all right here we go get the water out of there we're using the king brush oh yeah this is handmade hand poured and that is a premium 24 millimeter bore knot yes sir and look at that isn't that beautiful just wonderful this is such a, a good brush now we're gonna go ahead and get that loaded up. All right. Hopefully you are having a good weekend and the world is treating you good. And you're getting to have some downtime, be able to relax with family and friends. Yeah, that's always good. And hopefully you get some good shaves along with that. And how you doing? You know, are you well? I hope so, and I hope that you are in high spirits and the world is treating you good. Yes, yes I do. Man, oh, this, this soap is just marvelous. The scent coming off of this is incredible. All right, now, I think we're there. I do. So, I'm just going to reach in there. Go around that bowl, just like that. All right, and we're gonna get out the good stuff and put that on the brush. Yep. Now, I got most of that on the brush. Still got some on the fingers. Let's go ahead and rub that in. Part of the pre-shave routine. I did just get out of the shower and those whiskers are hydrated, which is always a good thing yeah now get those hands dried off here you go look at that isn't that nice oh yeah that is wonderful all right oh. now get that lather on yeah this is fantastic so Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? There you go. Excellent. Now, Get those hands rinsed off. And this is pass one. And primarily for me, that is with the grain. Let's do this.
Oh, nice. That is good. It is a very smooth edge on this. Incredible. Now, get here. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Now, get that mustache area. Yeah, stretching is key. Do whatever you can to stretch. Don't overstretch, but do whatever you can. It really will make all the difference in the world. And here I'm finding my speed bumps. Wow, that's a nice edge, it really is. That is so comfortable. It's so smooth, just amazing. Nice, very nice. Now, get that mustache area on this side. There we go, pass one complete. Now, we're going to get that rinsed off. See how we did. It felt good. So let's see. All good. First pass. Yes, it is. Oh, nice. And I <laughs> keep picking up soap. There we go. Oh, that is so good. That really is good. All right, now, 
Let's get her lather on. This is going to be pass two. And for me, primarily, that is going to be against the grain. Now, I know there's two schools of thought on your second pass. Pretty much everybody goes with, uh, with the grain on your first pass. So that's not a big deal. But on the second pass, <laughs> there is people out there that go across the grain on their second pass and then like I go against the grain. Now for me, against the grain works the best on the second pass for my cheeks. And that's okay. For me, I like it. That It works for me. Now, I used to do an across the grain for the second pass and found that I got way more irritation than I needed and I just quit doing it. What I started doing is this way. And it works, it works for me. So let me encourage you, experiment, figure out what works. You don't have to just keep doing it the way everybody else is doing it. You can make your own way and you can shave in a way that uh, works best for you. Yeah, so be encouraged, try new things. You know, I want to always strive to be a better version of myself and to learn more. So, you can do that too. Now, this is past two and primarily for me, that is going to be against the grain. Let's do this. All right. There we go. That's nice. Feels good. Yes, it does. And against the grain is a really good test for your edge. And this is doing a fine job. Yep. All right, get that blade cleaned off and switching up the handle.
All right. Looks like it may hit a little bump right there. I don't think it's a big deal though. We'll see, we'll see. I, I really uh, didn't even know I hit anything. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we're gonna clear these spots so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, let's get this side. completely against the grain you know going up here on each side and going in on each side and this blade is doing fine with that Here we go. Nice. Now. There we go, pass two complete, and it felt good. Let's get those cheeks rinsed off and see how we did. Oh yeah, nice. All those cheeks are in great shape. And that blade is doing a fine job, it is. All right, excellent. All right, now, this is the half pass, all right? Now, for me, like I say, I don't have to do a full three pass shave. I'm only gonna do my jawline and my neck, and that's gonna clean this up very nicely, and I'm gonna get a great shave, all right? So, again, experiment, see, what works for you. I know several people have told me this works really well for them. So I would say, you know, whatever you see anybody doing, give it a try. Give it a try. See if it works for you. It might, it might not. I don't know. But you could always try and see. Nice. Look at that. Uh, look at that. I got a little, little spot there, it looks like. <laughs> oh, well. No big deal. There it is, right there. All right. Yeah, no big deal on the spots. You know, 
it's not going to be a problem at all. You know, if you get a little spot, go ahead and uh, just put some soap on it. Now, if it's a little bit more serious, uh, get some alum. And if it's even more serious than that, go with a styptic pencil. I always have one handy, all right? So, it's a good idea. All right, let's do this. Nice. All right, looking good. There we go. That's good. All right. Now, we're going to get this other side. Okay, there you go. Another shave in the books. Yeah. Yeah, and it felt good. It did. Now, let's get that rinsed off. See how we did. Oh, nice. Oh, that is good. Oh, that is really good. Quite nice. Now, we are going alum everywhere. Now, this is a deodorant stick so it is alum and it works fantastic after shave and it is so good because it's astringent and antiseptic and it'll be great for those little bumps we hit yep now go ahead dry that off and if you can't do alum, by the way, just do a cold water rinse and follow it with some witch hazel. In my case, I'm going with Thayer's and this is the rose petal. It is quite nice. It really is. And the witch hazel is so good for the skin. You, you can't go wrong. Mm. And this has got a nice scent as well. Oh, so good. And I do put that everywhere. Don't think you can go wrong with that. Now, for my aftershave kind of cologne thing, here we go. Clubman Musk. This is going to be so good with this particular soap. It makes a great combination. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, that is so good. And look, bumps aren't a problem. No big deal. Yep. And now we are going to top the shave off with Nivea Cooling Poche Balm. 
and it is good. You gotta take care of your skin, you really do. All right, so just do it, just do it. Take care of your skin. Oh, that's good, that is so good. And oh, there you go. I put that everywhere. I do Straight Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. You can click on this card to see me honing this Wade & Butcher Sheffield. It was a good home. It was. And I get my ideas for these Straight Razor Edge Friday specials from you. So down in the comments, go ahead, leave me questions, comments, suggestions, maybe even ideas for an upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special, and we will get that going for you. Now, if you've been watching for a while and you like what you see, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, you know where to put them, all right? We'd love to answer them. I also do the Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by for that. Wouldn't be the same without you. And down in the description, I've got a ton of links for straight razor shaving and honing videos and playlists, especially for you. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click up here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.